bring Mr. Bolton in. Why are you cross? Uh, well, I want to come back to your comments. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit more direct here. I think what you said is offensive and inappropriate. You are a munchkin in the media, and uh, you may have your opinions, but I think your job is to try and present the news uh, accurately and not uh, editorialize. If you'd like to tell me where you think the president uh, has behaved in a way you disagree with, let's have uh, an example of it, and I'd be happy to deal with it. Okay. What in particular are we talking about? Are we talk uh, what in particular are we talking about? Are we talking about what's happening with Iran? You said the president slips. You said the president slips in and out of deals. What What's your problem specifically? My problem specifically is that uh, we were talking about Iran. Uh, I was saying he wants to get out of the deal that the United States has done as far there's, as Iran is concerned. There's nothing slippery. There's nothing slippery about that. It's entirely appropriate when a country realizes it's made a strategic mistake or circumstances have changed uh, to get out of an international agreement. I can give you any number of examples. President George W. Bush, for example, quite correctly took the United States out of the 1972 anti-ballistic missile treaty so that we could have a national missile defense capability to protect against the likes of Iran and North Korea. That's not slippery. That's operating in the national interest. Do you think Britain is slippery for getting out of the European Union? Maybe you should call your whole country slippery. Ooh, um, really, so it's Peter, just okay, you have to say, Mr. Bolton, I'm going to come back to you in just a second. Calm down, calm down. Um, I'm 